So this is fitting the new GV, I guess that's the, yeah. the model number. So these are to replace the hand rails in order to fit the bracket or the plate, I should say, that goes with the top box. So we've, uh, without losing the paperwork, we've got a few bits to put on and then hopefully we can get that mounted and I can put on the second hand box, which I managed to, to find. So first things first, we actually had to take these guys, oh, wrong side, uh, That's right. there's the right side, from out of there, which includes a little clip here, which you just unscrew with a Phillips yeah. screwdriver, and that gets those out and they sit in there. You've got a little bracket here, which you put in place, another bracket here. everything there's all loose until you tighten this up One thing you must remember to do, buried under the paperwork, we found these rubber, what would you even call them? Spaces? Fillers. Fillers, yeah. which uh, happens to go in this gap here. So uh, luckily, take we, two. we'll um, yeah, just do a take two. Better, see, now we've put those in, that's filled that gap up nicely. A little bit more adjustments to make on it yet. Tighten it all back up again. Now we have had to make a slight adjustment to this back plate because it turns out it's not. Either the bars aren't the right ones for the top box or the plate isn't the right one. But either way, we looked at where they, the previous person had uh, bolted it up and it's in the same place. So all we ended up having to do was just uh, screw through the actual drill through. drill through, as I say, it should say. Oh, I can't talk today. But, and create a new hole, tighten it up, make some bolts to fit. And I'm sure that's as good as it would have been if we had the correct plate. And that is the finished product all on. I'll show you, there'll be some pictures where I've just, we've just stuck dad's top boxes on it just to see what it looks like. The Hondas always seem to have quite a bit of an overhang from the number plate, but it is what it is and it will do the job. And uh, I think that looks pretty tidy, if I do say so myself. This is my uh, second arm top box on it, which I don't think it looks too bad now. Pleased with uh, how it fits on. It's a good size top box that I managed to pick up second hand off the internet. And uh, yeah, she's she's on there. And I'll show you how to take off a cord lock because I don't want to use it since uh, it actually broke my camera phone. Camera phone? Yeah, the phone, or the camera on my phone. So uh, we're going to use something else now. We're gonna put a Garmin on it instead, which is a bit of a shame because it was nice to have the phone there. But sadly, my model phone 
is known to breaking because of its sensitive camera. Good old iPhones. So it was really, really annoying because I really liked having my phone sat on that bar there because it was it's the right height for me. So I found putting it on the handlebars, I'd have to be looking down. I got the OS maps on it, which I really liked. Um, but unfortunately, my phone is rather sensitive to the vibrations. And I have had to wait a week and a half to go and get my phone replaced. And I don't want to risk breaking it again. So uh, we're going to try another method. But just check what phone you've got before you put a quad lock on your bike. So now we have a Rally Raid bracket which we are going to use to fit said garment. Oh, there we go. Um, thank you very much. And we will fit this little sat nav down here, which is a Garmin Montana. Oh, if I hold it out the right way. Which dad has previously used on his dirt bikes and off-roading and everything. So that's its current mount, but it's been on a Ram mount before. So we're going to adjust it to fit it to the new rally raid mount so that i can keep it in the same place on this nice accessory bar so this is now the uh, garmin mounted in its place which I think looks good. That's pretty much where I was gonna have the phone. But these are obviously made for being on bikes and boats and uh, taking some abuse. But sadly, my phone is not made for the vibrations. But no, I'm, I'm happy with the position. It works well. Just ridden it back from dad's and uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. <laughs> 